Do you guys remember that girl, Chantal Witherbottom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, she sucked. Well, she's gone missing. What do you mean, gone missing? She's like a missing person. There's posters of her, like, all over the city. Dory, what happened to her? I mean, she's missing. Well, where is she? That's, that's the question. One of the biggest surprise hits of 2016 was the TBS show Search Party. Search Party had a solid first season, but what took the show to the next level was how that season ended. It was a finale unlike anything I've ever seen on television, rewriting the entire rules of the show in one scene. So before I give anything away, let's take a minute to appreciate that ending and look at what made it so unique. And of course, spoilers ahead. I'm Jackson, and this is Ideas at Play. First things first, here's a quick recap of Search Party. We meet our main character, Dory, standing in a perfectly metaphorical turd. Girl, you standing in shit. Nasty. When she sees a missing persons poster for an old classmate, Chantal, Dory gets her friends on board in a mission to solve the mystery of Chantal's disappearance and current whereabouts. Each step pulls them deeper into the rabbit hole, where they discover leads ranging from a mysterious death to a cult to a sonogram. Dory becomes more and more obsessed, adopting the mystery as her purpose and direction. Along the way, she gets wrapped up in an affair with Keith, a private investigator looking into the same case. Towards the end, Dory finds out that Keith is not who he says he is, so she loses him and ends up tracking Chantal to a house in Montreal. But Keith shows up, and Dory freaks out and tasers him. This makes him angry, as only a head wound can, and Dory's boyfriend Drew steps in and kills him. All before everyone finds out that Chantal is not only fine, but that she ran away just because she was upset about a breakup. She was never in any real danger. Isn't this hilarious, you guys? We like, <laughs> nothing happened. Like we literally, we thought it was like all these crazy bad things and literally nothing happened. This twist is devastating to the gang for two reasons. The first is obvious. They're clearly shaken from having killed Keith, even if it was seemingly in self-defense. But that action takes on a completely different meaning when they find Chantal. Yeah, Keith was a creep, and more than a bit aggressive. But he wasn't out to hurt her, and they didn't kill him to protect Chantal. He was just looking for the reward money, and Chantal only ran away because she was upset that a married man wouldn't leave his family for her. Her or me, you have to decide, and you have to decide right now! God damn it, Chantal! I've only known you for two months! There was no danger that Chantal needed to be saved from. But the twist is also devastating because it snatches Dory's purpose away from her. Everything she's worked for throughout the entire season has been for nothing. There was no great mystery as to why Chantal disappeared. Nothing that needed to be solved. It cuts to the heart of the show, which is essentially about 20-somethings trying to figure out what they're supposed to do in life. Dory's friends Elliot and Portia fake their way through their shallow lives. Drew tries to do the whole internship to nowhere thing. But Dory had found something that was real and gave her life passion. And then to have it taken away is a huge gut punch. It leaves her completely empty. What? This double action of killing Keith and discovering the scam that is Chantal is awesome because it expresses character and narrative development at the same time. This idea of expressing several elements of a story simultaneously is something we're gonna call the multiplicity principle. All great stories carry elements of the multiplicity principle, whether they're developing characters along with the story or advancing two parts of the narrative at the same time. Each element multiplies the effect of the others to become greater than the sum of its parts. The more ideas that are expressed through the same action, the harder that action will resonate. And the multiplicity principle is at work all over this ending. We just covered how it impacts our characters, but how about us? How does the ending affect our emotions? The finale feels like a textbook anticlimax. We're all familiar with this idea. Something we thought was gonna be hard ends up being incredibly easy. It's a tool for humor that gets us to laugh at the unnecessary time and effort that was placed into planning. And that's certainly at work here, not just for Dory and the gang, but for us as an audience. We spent nine episodes trying to solve the same mystery, and it turns out that Chantal was never in danger. She only ran away because, well, she sucks. Who are you hiding from? Honestly, myself. But Search Party takes this idea a step further with the multiplicity principle. As it deflates everyone by taking the stakes out of the search, it immediately fills that void with stakes that are unequivocally higher. Keith's death takes on a whole new meaning with his revelation. While the gang was obviously shaken by their actions, we as an audience felt the killing was justified. He was a bad guy coming for Chantal. It felt like it was the price that needed to be paid. But the twist rips away that justification. When their profound goal turns out to be mediocre, it's the killing that becomes profound. It takes the necessary out of necessary evil. 
If we'd had either part of this dual action, the effect would have been much different. Kill Keith and discover Chantal is in true peril? And that's the end of your story. Take Keith out of the equation and keep the Chantal plot as is, and you end up trolling your audience, taunting them for investing in your story. But by combining these, you end up with something completely new. It has the effect of a one-two punch. There's no longer a mystery that needs to be solved, but one that needs to be covered up. And that's what makes the multiplicity principle a perfect choice for Search Party's finale. Given an entire off-season to breathe, we can really appreciate each aspect of the ending, and how they work together to create something funny, sad, and suspenseful all at once. Whether it's true crime or fiction, we spend hours of our time trying to figure out mystery shows like this. We scour the deepest corners of Reddit for easter eggs that we missed, or stalk the real-life culprits looking for dirt or that one piece of evidence that everyone missed. He's the one who killed Shonda. Anyway, uh... To spend all that time to find out Search Party is trolling us is funny. Sure, it's deflating too, but that dual action pivots us to a completely different show now. Now, we're on the other side of the murder mystery, thanks to one great twist that flipped everything all at once. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it. A special shout out to Professor Thorburn who coined the term multiplicity principle and was an invaluable resource in making this video. I tried to do something a little more focused and short in this video, so let me know in the comments if you like it. Thanks again, and see you next time.